It draws thousands of Memphians every year, and this year was no different. Happening for the first time since the release of the movie about his life, Elvis fans trekked to Graceland for what would have been his 88th birthday. It is a shot in the arm for businesses as well. Fox 13's Dakari Turner is in Whitehaven with fans. I haven't missed uh, an Elvis week yet. On a chilly January morning across the street from the Graceland home of Elvis is where we met perhaps one of the King of Rock and Roll's biggest fans. Elvis gave us a little heat this morning. And the last time I was here, I was 15, the day that he passed away. Debbie Dobson here watching with dozens of others as Elvis's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, and stars from the hit biopic titled in Elvis's name gathered for what would have been his 88th birthday. Dobson shared with us she's seen the movie, which opened last year a staggering 514 times. How do you know that? Because I keep count. 160 times 514. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. 82,240 minutes you've spent watching this movie. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's amazing. I would have never thought to add that up. The number of those here celebrating today likely boosted by the movie's success for the half-hour ceremony. Presley's daughter led those attending with the ceremonial cake cutting, featuring a birthday proclamation from the city of Memphis and Shelby County as well. Then it was time to cross the street from Graceland with the opening of the new Making of Elvis exhibit, where the cake is also displayed, giving fans a behind-the-scenes look at how the movie was made. Running through September, it's set to give an economic boost for nearby businesses. Does coming here take special meaning after watching the movie? Yeah, makes it more... rememberable. This is home. After coming that many times and seeing the way the community's changed and everything, it just feels like home. And uh, Elvis just keeps getting better looking. <laughs> Every year. In Whitehaven, Dakari Turner, Fox 13 News. Dakari, thanks.